Do you ever feel like you have no clue what uh, is inside a job description? Well, sometimes I also feel like that even after 15 years in IT, um, that's why we have prepared these materials. And today I'll walk you through one of the job descriptions. We are going to look at uh, a job description with the title JavaScript slash Vue.js uh, developer. So my worksheet is ready. Let's dive right in. So guys, uh, I'll show you how can you use the worksheet to learn a little more about the, the particular role. And I would like to go through a role of a JavaScript slash Vue.js developer. I hope you can see it here. So JavaScript Vue.js developer. This is a role copy pasted uh, from, uh, from Indeed, from, you know, the job portal. Uh, we just change the name of a company somewhere here. Otherwise, it's it's the same. And now the question is, what what kind of a role is this? Who are they looking for? And how can you match this job description with the right candidate? Like, who is a JavaScript Vue.js developer? So now coming uh, back to the IT roles mind map that you most likely have already downloaded. If not, you can go to... Actually, I don't remember the link, uh, but you can uh, you can click the link that will be below the video, and uh, I I link it there. Okay, so IT roles map, you can see here um, the branch with software engineers, and uh, web developers, front end developers, back end developers. Okay, so front end developers are a subgroup of software uh, software engineers. We can also call them front end engineers. Usually, it's just front end developers. And now you can see here that front-end developers um, include just one, one position, which is a JavaScript developer, because JavaScript is a programming language used for front-end development. And there are these three, four frameworks, um, React, Angular, Vue.js, and Ember is already, um, I would consider it legacy together with Knockout, um, also jQuery, so now let's focus on React, Angular, and Vue.js. And now you can see that here we had Vue.js. Okay, so they were looking for JavaScript Vue.js developer. So um, let's let's keep reading, and we will see what interesting is inside. Um, this is uh, enjoy living by the code of your craft. La la la, nothing interesting. Acme Financial Services. Acme Acme is the name of you know the company that we have changed. Our clients are some of the world's largest, most of the banks. Nothing really interesting. We are looking for JavaScript Node.js developer. Oh, now this is interesting. They mentioned Node.js. Let me circle it. They mentioned Node.js. But again, let's look at the mind map and see where Node.js is. So Node.js is right here. So it's not under the front end developers, but rather back end developers. JavaScript Node.js. So now, as, as, a, as a recruiter, you should immediately know, you know, even in the middle of the night, you should know that this is this is wrong. You should not mix Vue.js because Vue.js is usually used on front end, right? Or not usually, like always used on front end with Node.js, which is the back end um, back end uh, um, environment. Node.js is actually a runtime environment that allows JavaScript to run on the back end side. Okay, but let's let's keep reading. Uh, that helps us with financial advisors platform. Uh, you will build UI, so user interface. It's one of the acronyms that as a recruiter you have to know. Of the research community insights, da -da -da, nothing interesting. Uh, position location, 100% on-site. What you will do? You will implement UI in Vue.js with high quality. Cool, so this is important because you you need to think what, what type of a uh, developer are they looking for? Well, they're looking for a front-end developer. So in fact, that could be written here, a front-end front -end developer who uses JavaScript language and Vue.js framework. Okay. You will conduct code reviews, follow best practices, participate in UI discussions, implement quick prototypes, participate in scrum ceremonies. I would say most of these are just fluff, you know, nothing really important, nothing key, nothing critical. 
you will participate in estimation and planning well okay well it's i mean it's clear because say every every um media to senior uh, front-end developer will conduct code reviews and they will participate in ui discussions and they will implement some prototypes right it just this is what generally ui uh, front-end developers do what do you have a degree uh, no 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 three years experience so they're looking for a media or senior experience in Vue.js again this is this is key but the Vue.js experience is important html and css well these two are just mainstream html everyone knows html everyone knows css into some extent um bootstrap yasmin this is a testing framework um so so this could be but it's not a deal breaker usually because a developer can learn another framework uh, testing framework rather quickly experience in ui development uh, that interacts with rest apis well it's again quite mainstream because if you think about ui and development this is this is some website say you know any website i can go to our our website or you know uh, any kind of website and eShop, like there is always some interaction with some some kind of an api um experience in writing SQL queries. Well, this is this is something I would label with red because um, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be have to be correct. Because if you think about it, again, Vue.js is is all about front end development. They are looking for someone to build the UI user interface. But SQL SQL also pronounced SQL is usually used on the backend side to pull to query data from a database or to modify data in the database so why why a front-end developer should know sql right like and especially have have experience working experience doesn't matter experience working in a scrum team i mean it it could be a plus but um um like a, a developer can just join a team and start working in a team as a uh, as a as a um you know team member just join meetings because at the end of the day uh, a scrum team meets once a day they have a stand up they say what they have been working on what are they going to work on and uh, what's blocking them they just answer these three questions that's it right so you don't have to have five years working experience in a scrum team to be able to plug into an existing team um so i mean i i try to say that that's not um, critical it's it's not it's not um it could be an advantage right but um would you not take a front-end developer who doesn't have well of course you would you would recruit him or her right and same the, the hiring manager so what is really important is this experience with Vue.js not even html not even css i mean bootstrap maybe bootstrap bootstrap could be important because it's a it's a framework and um it's good to know it um so so uh i would say a senior Vue.js front-end developer would already know it so um, i uh, cir circle it as okay okay knowledge and yes I mean it could be learned even on the job uh, so so i would cross at least node.js or at least underline it with this uh, red marker um, so essentially, if you if you really think about it, what is essential? You are looking for a front-end developer who has working experience with Vue.js, who has been coding front-end at least three years. So I'll circle three years also. So it's uh, some mid-year senior developer, and that's it. The rest is just obvious every front-end developer knows he or she will be building some apis uh, sorry some uh, ui um not apis apis are on the back end side so uh, every front-end developer knows they will you know implement some prototypes um, or trans um, transform prototypes to existing you know production production ready um either websites or um, you know some user interface so uh, this is how i would wrap it wrap it up um, you can see what is really essential at the end of the day it comes down to uh, that particular role so looking at the role in our mind map you can see software engineers front-end developer 
with React. So this is the person you are looking for. And this is how you can also communicate. Hey, I'm looking for a front-end developer who has um, at least uh, um, three years experience with front-end development and who has been working with Vue.js. I mean, the three years experience doesn't have to be in Vue.js. As a front-end developer could be um, could have worked with uh, React or Angular and say for the last six months with Vue.js, that's completely okay because the principles of front-end development doesn't change too much. That framework does, obviously. React is different compared to React. Um, Vue.js is different compared to, uh, to these two, but the principles don't, don't change. Okay, I hope this is clear. This is how I would, um, I would um, identify who am I looking for. Uh, so these are the re relevant technologies. This is what you can fill in uh, this worksheet. So relevant technologies is uh, JavaScript. Um, it's Vue.js and it is um, it's Bootstrap. Bootstrap. So these three are the most relevant technologies. I'm actually quite surprised as they don't list um, some more advanced um, front-end techniques, uh, tools, for example, uh, CSS preprocessors, SAS or less. This is something I um, cover in another mind map, so I'll not dive deeper since it's not here. So three questions I would ask a candidate during a screening or an interview call. So I would ask if the candidate has at least three years of experience um, working on the front-end side. Um, I would ask um, about his or her experience with Vue.js and I would ask uh, about these uh, more advanced um, advanced tools. So uh, have you have you ever been using Gulp or SAS or less CSS preprocessors? Like these are the questions I would ask. So I'll just add here um, at advanced advanced uh, topics. Okay, how would I attract the candidate? Well, we need to realize that this is a standard position. The position of a front-end Vue.js developer is not unique, um, especially if the front-end developer position is not unique. Uh, majority of front-end developers use either React or um, Angular. So, say, the, the little differentiating point is the Vue.js framework, which could be attractive uh, for many. So, so the Vue.js framework, Vue.js framework could be interesting. And this is how I could communicate it. Like, hey, maybe you've been um, looking for some opportunity to, um, to work with uh, Vue.js. Well, I have a client who is using Vue.js on the front end. So if you'd like to, you know, learn this, this framework a little deeper, well, this could be a great opportunity for you. How would I improve this job description? Well, I would uh, most likely cut this fluff. What you will do, so uh, cut fluff, fluff. Um, I would also like to uh, talk a little more about the a project because we, we read it all, um, but we still don't know what he or she will like really work on. Will he or she be working on some e-commerce um, um, store or I don't know, like nothing or for some clients. Um, we don't know. Um, let me just go through it again. The financial services, they're looking for ex exceptionally talented people. Well, mm, nothing really about the project, right? So if, if I were a front end developer with 10 other opportunities every week, well, most likely I would just dismiss this one because it's not clear enough. What would I ask a hiring manager? Should I be the recruiter? Well, um, I would certainly ask about that project so I can improve the job description, so I can attract the right candidates. Um, what do I need to learn more about? So this is precisely um, you know, the, the same in this particular case. I need to learn more about the type of project, about the team, so I can attract, um, attract more candidates at, at the end of the day. Okay, so this is how I think about it. Uh, this is uh, the IT Road Worksheet Volume One Software Developers. It's one of the um, one of the roles. It was the JavaScript UJS developer on page number eight. So if uh, at any point you would like to uh, to practice, you can obviously 
and you don't get these materials, the materials are also part of the IT Recruiter Toolkit. If you just want a, this particular framework, a, a worksheet, um, I can send it over to you. you just ping me a message um, in, or in a comment and um, I'll, I'll send you this uh, PDF file. All right, so I'll wrap it up here. If you have any question about how to attract more uh, front-end developers, um, I think you will, you will find answers uh, in the IT Recruiter Toolkit. So uh, you can just go to itrecruitertoolkit.com. Have a wonderful day, everyone.